All right, everyone, what is the wavelength of radiation that has a frequency of 6.4 times 10 to the 11th hertz or seconds to the negative one power? So the problem is giving us frequency. It is 6.4 times 10 to the 11th. So frequency equals 6.4 times 10 to the 11th hertz or another way to write that is seconds to the negative one power. And we are looking for wavelength. So looking for wavelength with the given information. And what we're looking for, we're going to use this equation over here where the speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. So we are trying to find wavelength again. And for that equation, we're going to need C, which is the speed of light. It is a constant. It is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Okay, so we have frequency, we have speed of light, we are looking for wavelength. Let's manipulate our equation to isolate wavelength or to get wavelength by itself. So to do that, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by frequency. And we are doing that because on the right we have wavelength times frequency. So to get frequency on the other side and to get it to cancel on the right side, we need to divide both sides by frequency. Okay, so let's rewrite the equation. We're gonna flip it so that wavelength is on the left side and wavelength will be equal to the speed of light divided by frequency. Now we can plug in the values that we have. Again, wavelength is gonna be equal to the speed of light, that is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second, divided by frequency, and the problem gave us 6.4 times 10 to the 11th seconds to the negative one power. Let's look at our units first. Does anything cancel out? Well, on top we have a one over seconds or per second. And on the bottom we have seconds to the negative one, which is saying the same thing. So on top and on bottom, those will cancel out and we will be left with meters, which is what we are looking for. So now we can do the math in your calculator. You are going to enter 3.00 times 10 to the eighth, and we are going to divide by everything in the denominator. Since it is in scientific notation, we need to make sure that it stays all together. So one way to do that is to open parentheses and then put 6.4 times 10 to the 11th, close parentheses, again, so that 6.4 times 10 to the 11th all stays together. And then if you hit equals in your calculator, you should have 4.6875 times 10 to the negative four. We can round that to two significant figures and get 4.7 times 10 to the negative four. And our units are again meters. So final answer, what is the wavelength of radiation that has a frequency of 6.4 times 10 to the 11th Hertz? That would be 4.7 times 10 to the negative four meters. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.